first into the tank is a fashionable way to bring out your inner animal. What's up, sharks? My name is Alexander Mendeluk. And I'm Marley Murata. And we are the co-creators of Spirit Hoods. We're seeking $450,000 for a 15% stake in our company. Our product brings the adventurous spirit of the wild into everyday life while helping to protect endangered animals. Wow! That happens every time you wear a spirit hood. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see that demo again? Very nice. <laughs> well, we're more than a hat company. We're a lifestyle brand. And as a brand, we're about community, self-expression, and just all around having a good time. We have products for adults, kids, and sports markets. This is a traditional spirit hood. It has paws <laughs> for your hands. Oh, my gosh. Sleeves oh, yeah. that can be turned oh, into a scarf. Oh, nice. <laughs> it can be worn up. It can be worn down. There's also a button here to secure it to your head. And then on the inside, there's a hidden secret zipper pocket. That hood actually has built-in machine washable speakers. So all you have to do is pull your phone out, you just pull the cord out right here, press play, and you've got music in your wait, hood. Wait, I'm chopped liver? <laughs> Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, the era of the new Fanimal. Picture in the stands, 30,000 fans all rocking their team spirit hoods. So I'm the team spirit hoods one. line is, is our latest addition to the company. Do you see adults wearing this? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the bulk of our sales are to adults. I don't care who buys. What are the sales? To date, we have $9.3 million worth of sales. Yeah, that's what, what I'm talking Whoa. about. Come on. Whoa. You gotta 100% be kidding. Fact. They don't look so stupid now. No. No, they don't. We launched the product in 2010 at Magic Trade Show. We opened about 35 different accounts, both uh, domestically and internationally. And, and the major accounts? We are currently in Zappos, Nordstrom's Online, in Harrods. We've been carried in um, Fred Siegel. And is this a seasonal sales that build around Halloween or Christmas, and then you kind of tail well, off the, the rest cold, of Well, the cold weather months are our months. So basically, we do 70% um, of our sales from September through December. What is the price? What is the price for an so average? So for a, a, a basic hood like that, our price point is $99. 99? That's a lot. Now, you these, these are synthetic, correct? These are all full fur. So if this sells for 99, what does it cost you to make? On average, it costs about $29 to produce. That's wow. made, made in Los Angeles. Yeah. Great margin. Yeah. What were your sales last year? I know that you did 9 million over three years. What were they last year and the year before? The first year, we had a million dollars that we launched. And then the second year, we had 4.5 million in sales. And then the third year, we had 3 million. Ooh. And we're on track to do 3 million, mm. 3 million again what this happened? year. What happened? We had a big explosion, a lot of uh, early adapters. And then after that, we were left with a core business, which is basically petered out about $3 million steadily every year. Do you year. think it's a fad? Is that why? No, well, I think that. Of course, it's a fad, I think but, that, but, but how do you re replenish it and refresh this, right? It was a trend within the contemporary women's fashion market, yes. Um, but again, we expand, we expanded into many different markets, but we have a core business that was left from that, that follow the brand because they love what we stand for, what we do. You never finished off your profitability. You did 4.5 million your best year. How much did you make that year? So the year we made $4.5 million, we actually had $914,000 worth of profit. And what about last wow. year at 3 million? Last year at 3 million, we actually had a, we had, we ran into some challenges and we had a $500,000 loss. Whoa! Five or six hundred thousand dollar wow. loss? Sounds like you got skin that year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got skin for sure. We hired a lot of people because we wanted to expand into all these different markets immediately. We started branching into apparel. You're hot, you want to go with it. We went, we went and we went too big for our own britches. But what we've now done is cut our costs, focus on what we do best, which is this. And you know, you had mentioned that, okay, it's a downward trend. Well, actually our online sales this year are stronger than they were last year. However, we do see a lot of potential for growth. We just realized that we need to lock what we do best first. Somebody must have knocked you guys off, right? Many. 
The, yeah, oh, yeah. The, the, you, was, you've probably seen a, quite a few of them out in the market I've right now. I've seen a lot for kids. Yeah. yeah. But one of the main things, again, I want to get to is the reason why we've sustained kind of the storm is because of the brand, the brand, the brand. We have people who have literally tattooed our logos <laughs> on their bodies. And I'm saying multiple. Like, that's how fanatic our, our tribe is. I've never seen a product that elicits a response like this. People that, are literally wanting to pet you, take that, pictures with you. They that is a us. big factor of this yeah. product. It's the only thing you can walk into a bar and girls come up to you and start petting you. And what do you want to use the $450,000 for? We could stay right now with a viable $3 million business, pay off our debt next year, have maybe about $500,000 in profit. Um, but what we really want to do is we want to grow the company. The team's line we see is one of the main places for large potential. Guys, let me take a shot at it. I look at it as an interesting fashion statement, but it's not proprietary. Anybody can do it. It scares me to see a year 4.5 down to 3, and then you're going to build it up in a new category. Uh, look, I'm not going to take the ride with you. I'm out. Good business, guys. I mean, great answers to all the questions. You really um, look like a shark right now, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you came up with it, but I actually invested in a company that made really cool things like this for helmets. Mm -hmm. And here's what happened to us. Two years, we were on fire, and then the sales went completely mm -hmm. away. Uh, that worries me about it, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with starting a business taking out a whack of cash, mm -hmm. and then starting something else. Mm -hmm. I'm out. Thank you. You look can, good in it. <laughs> can I keep it? <laughs> Absolutely. I think the best use of it you mentioned earlier is as a chick magnet. You walk into a bar with that on, I'm going to go over to you and think you're an adorable guy. I'm not sure I'm going to want to date you. Wow. But it's a great chick magnet. It really is. But you know what? I like to buy into businesses that are rising, not falling, so I'm out. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. There are millions of people who haven't seen the product yet, and that's one of the reasons why we're here. Guys, you've got a nice little business, right? But the thing about it is, I, it's too expensive for me to sell. What would be a good price point for you? $19.95, then maybe I could sell a couple hundred in the arena, and you'll see some folks walking around. And I, I don't think you can get the price point where I can help you in sports, and I just don't see it, so I'm out. And you're left with the only shark that matters in this case. <laughs> Damon is still here. Thank you for the pressure, Bang. Rob. How and he loves this kind of stuff. Damon, the colorful. fashion guy who started with hats. Did I he know. say that? I know. Oh, I we know that. We've done our research. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I would like to draw a comparison because you know what it's like to have an idea and see something in the market and pound the streets, put it on your friends. You know, we did the same type of thing. We got celebrity exposure. The brand grew. We've been on Bruno Mars, Snoop Dogg, Kesha, Kardashians, Justin Bieber. The list goes on. Here's the, the bigger problem. This brand and this, this category got hot for a second. It's downtrending. I would have to take a gamble with you, and it would be, it would be. Let's take a risk. Let's do it together. Well, I don't know if you want to take the risk with me because my risk is going to be $450,000, and we're going to license this thing out, and I want 50%. 50%. Bam. Ooh -wee. Four sharks are out. Marley and Alexander have an offer from Damon, but it's an aggressive one. I would have to take a gamble with you, and it would be, it would be. Let's take a risk. Let's do it together. Well, I don't know if you want to take the risk with me because my risk is going to be four hundred fifty thousand dollars, and we're going to license this thing out, and I want fifty percent. Fifty percent. Bam. I want to license out all categories, and the pricing will have to come down. I want outerwear, backpacks, and we want to try to find licenses for that and get that out there to support the brand. You see, when I first started making hats, the hats only lasted literally a year. Other than that, I had to move into outerwear and T-shirts and denim and everything else because the hats were in and out. They were gone. Yeah. And then what, what would you see for the brand itself? Money. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you've got a really nice, warm and fuzzy offer here. That's yeah. not a warm and fuzzy offer. Yes, it offer. is. $450,000 you know cash. Barbara, shut your pie hole. You know Barbara's not in this. You know Barbara what it's missing? It's missing this. any promise, any conciseness of how much he expects to make for you. He hasn't given you a single number. Here is $450,000. He if he's so good at what he's doing, he should be able to give you an estimate. You're not even in on this deal. That's why I'm speaking honestly. Uh, can we have a moment to go he's back like, and talk for a little bit? You know what happens when you go back and talk, right? What happens? You get eaten yeah, alive. Yeah, things happen. <laughs> you know, you watch the show. People have left that car. Don't worry about it. Leave the ladies here and go ahead out. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate Thank it. You. Yeah. 
so 435. And he's gonna license it out to everything else, and that who knows what's gonna happen to the brand name. Do we want him to just take our brand and license it out to all these different people? I actually That's thought a that was a good offer. offer. I think it's a gamble. Yeah, not a good offer. It's a gamble for them, not for you. Why? It Why it's a big gamble for them. It easily go to zero. Yeah, way if down. you think it goes to zero, I'm out of 450, Barbara. You don't think that's a gamble? So, Marley and Alex, your sales went down. You scared most sharks away, except for Damon. Who knows your industry? Except he wants, for 450000 50% of your business. What are you going to do? We're not prepared to evaluate our company that low, but what we are prepared to do is give a $2 million evaluation for 22.5%, but then a particular percentage on licensing deals that you bring into the situation. Okay. Well, I mean, that's the beauty of the tank. When you go out to think, I start to think, and I already had buyer's remorse, and I didn't even buy it, so um, I wasn't ready to renegotiate the deal. I'm out. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. We appreciate the opportunity. Appreciate Good luck, you guys. Yeah, Thanks, seriously. guys. I'm actually stoked that we didn't go that low and that we still have our company to show for it. So. Absolutely, 100%. Good work, dude.